Yes, sir. Back outside again with the ship boy Moody Star. Yo, man, last weekend or this past weekend, it was pretty cool. You feel me? You know, uh, got got a chance to go out, meet some people, vibe, utilize my life force energy. And as we start a brand new week, you feel me? I'm about to just explore. I am going to be traveling more. Um, don't be surprised if you end up seeing me in Miami low-key just on some like random stuff I don't think I'm gonna drive to Miami, but That's how I'm feeling though uh, I'm feeling amazing, bro. So I'm gonna talk to you guys like it's a FaceTime. This video is actually not gonna be too long, bro You gotta bring the life of the party to the party. You are the life of the party You know what I'm saying? You are the life of the party Don't ever get it twisted Sometimes you be waiting on certain things to kind of align and happen in your life, bro. Everything really is actually waiting on you. It's waiting on you, bro. You are the life of the party. And once you know how to control that life force energy, once you know how to have a short memory about your mistakes, but you still take heed or, you know, still take responsibility for, you know, your mistakes or mishaps, but don't beat yourself up. A lot of people tend to stay in this uh stay in this purgatory stage where it's like they keep they're just so reminded of like how much times they failed how much times they fail how much times they fail versus like being resilient getting back up and starting a brand new day you feel me god gave us the ability to look at every day as a brand new sheet of paper and with this sheet of paper, bro, you know what I'm saying? You can draw and do whatever you want. You can paint, uh, you know, whatever it is, bro. Like you can, you can literally have a brand new reality every single day. And I think that's a blessing within itself. A brand new day, a brand new opportunity to be great. And one thing that you have to remember too, bro, is that you are actually not the same person every day. Every day that passes, you become a brand new human being. Legitimately. Every day that passes, you become a brand new human being. Your DNA and like even down to your skin. You know, as humans, our, our skin, over time, it sheds. And we actually become a brand new uh, being. So, let's, I'm going to talk about it real quick though, bro. Um... A summary of what happened over the weekend pretty much again if you guys don't know you know I went live I went out to uh, downtown in Atlanta uh, I went to Piedmont Park and it was really really dope you feel me got a chance to go live um, I wanted to play basketball but I got out there too too early you feel me I think the next time I go out there it pretty much has to be an all-day event type 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 of vibe you feel me getting out there like be between like 9 and 9 30 before the sun is like blazing hot uh it was very therapeutical it was very relaxing and again bro the life of the party i felt as though not only when i went live because y'all yeah, bought it too dog to anybody that was in the chat yo chat you bought you bought that energy you know what i'm saying y'all kept alive like where where it need to needed to be so i actually want to say a special thank you to uh you know anybody who joined me and again i'm gonna try to make it a thing where every saturday i go to you know a different spot go live chop it up with you guys you know talk about the week talk about you know what i'm saying how we can get better talk about like you know hidden knowledge all of that good stuff you feel me and uh you know going back to the weekend um it was amazing, man, it, and it it was just so much potential too, so much more potential that I that I didn't even know that like existed out here, even though I can't, I still still don't like Georgia, I still don't, I feel claustrophobic because there ain't no beaches around. You got to drive like two and a half hours to get to to the nearest beach. I ain't with all that two and a half hour driving, bro, because. I know when I lived in Florida to get to the beach, it was like 15 minutes, 20 minutes max. You feel me? 30 minutes if you, even if, bro. You feel me? But like, 
that's what I'm saying. I, I, got, I definitely got to visit Florida again. I probably might go back uh, down to Florida for um, my mom's birthday. You know, she's Virgo and stuff. So we're going to see how that plays out. But uh, yeah, man, what you got to remember, bro, is that like when you want to do something and once you want to what you want to like kind of like enjoy life and experience life really you could do that like any given time bro any given time obviously you got to position yourself obviously you know especially throughout the week you got to plan you got to write things out um and yeah again plan write things out and if god gave gave you the ability to have the time to uh to make something out of nothing i say do it especially if you got your off days or if you got you know right now you know what i'm saying some jobs are acting crazy they don't want to give out hours and stuff like that again if you've been practicing retention and you've also been sober i guarantee you've been saving so much money already i guarantee you already been saving so much money i hate when i be having stuff on my shirt bro it's embarrassing and with you saving so much money this how do you think i was able to go out to the park on the weekend because i had money saved up i guarantee you if i was still smoking what happens i would have been paying i would have been paying at least a hundred something dollars for weed but i've been stuck at the crib you feel me but that one the, just a a couple weeks of saving up some bread you feel me and this is why it's very important to kind of like take a break from your vices bro so you're sometimes your vices will stop you from actually being the life of the party bro again your vices will stop you from being the life of the party some people like to depend on that to be like oh yeah man i'm more social when i use this or if i drink this and whatever you feel me um i'm not so much of a huge drinker but people say that like you know wine is good to drink from time to time but I know for me, mm -mm, I already told y'all about how I feel about wine. And I, I can control myself, but it's also, it'll also trigger my lower self. So, you know, I know better than to be drinking any type of alcohol or any type of wine after nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. Like, no, that's a setup. That's a setup. You feel me? But for me, at least, when it comes to like using marijuana or whatnot, I already know I'm going to be a shell of myself, bro. I'm going to be a shell of myself. I'm going to keep it a bean at Piedmont Park. There was so many people out there just living their best life and smoking it down and everything. I caught a, a, a contact. And I'm like, dang, bro. Even, even with the contact, it was kind of like, all right, yeah, I'm chill, I'm mellow. But I don't really like to be chill and mellow 24-7. I'm sorry. I like being sharp. I like, uh, you know, kind of just being present. Um, you know, I, I like that. You feel me? I like being sober. You feel me? It's dope. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to be on point. And when, I, and when I'm on point, it feels as though, like, I just have more confidence to walk up to people and just start a regular conversation like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? And then just live my life network live my life find out where some new restaurants is like i'm gonna be trying out some vegan restaurants coming up it's mad expensive out there so i gotta give myself like a couple weeks of saving some bread and um yeah i'm gonna I'm take that trip bro probably gonna do some uh, move bangs and um again for the patreon y'all should be on the lookout I will be, you know, linking up with different uh, female content creators. And, um, you know, we're going to take this content to the next level, bro. You know, just like how women be picking our brains. We got to have this conversation and pick pick their brains. You feel me? And, um, you know, some guys be like, oh, we don't care what females think. Well, nigga, you stay over there. OK, because I ain't gonna lie. I, I care what uh, some of these goddesses or high vibrational women think. You know what I'm saying? Um because you know it's just it's good to just share information that's how you become a better person that's how you elevate as a spirit you can't always be talking to your dogs i mean yeah it's cool to talk to your dogs or whatnot but um if you do want to procreate if you do want to have a family one day 
yeah, you have to understand the female mind. You have to understand what makes them tick. Like, you have to understand certain, because I ain't going to lie, bro. It's very, 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 very simple and easy to connect with the woman, the ideal woman that you want. Very easy, bro. A lot of y'all be overthinking it. A lot of y'all be wasting your seed too much. So you lack confidence in even approaching a woman. And you also have a distorted uh, reality of women because the, oh, the only women you've been seeing is online. See, bro, you got to get back to the days. Like, I know some of y'all just now getting into this realm of reality. A lot of y'all just turning 21 and 18 and shit like that. But, bro, back in like the early 2000s, everybody was outside. People were cold approaching women like it, it wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, we didn't have to worry about like, oh, man, what's your IG? And oh, how much followers you got? Like, nah, bro. Like, if you seen somebody that was beautiful or whatnot, you walked up to them, you talked to them. And it was just like on site. Now, back then, I didn't really practice semen retention. But I did. I still was uh, aware of my life force energy, bro. Because even if you do, whether you know it or not, bro, like every guy is blessed to have this special life force energy the ability to you know place your seed in a female's garden and watch something grow out of it is amazing okay it's amazing so with walking around with this ability to place your seed in certain different gardens and stuff like that it comes with a certain responsibility as a man and one of those responsibilities of course is to control yourself control your lower nature you have to control yourself, control your, your lower nature, and then understand those are building qualities within you to become a man who can lead. You feel me? Once you're building the qualities within yourself to become a man who can lead, who can um, who becomes the life of the party, who can be fun, who can be uh, funny, all of these things, bro. It actually stems from the God life force energy that that vital life force that god gave all men women they got their superpowers too but y'all the guys you have to understand a lot of this shit don't start without you the life of the party is you literally the life of the party is you and when it comes to just living life and setting a vibe half the time bro Nah, 80%, damn the 90% of the time, bro, you as a man, whenever you are linking up with a female or you're chilling with a female or whatever, you always have to set that vibe because she is going to follow. And if she follows you and you're not setting the vibe right, of course, bro, like she ain't going to be chilling. She ain't going to be vibing with you for too much longer because a woman don't want to lead. A woman don't have to be like, hey, let's do this. Let's do that. Unless she's just like overly masculine or, you know, she's in her bag and because there's certain things that I personally would lead to a female to do. You feel me? I don't really, you know, when they talk about the whole gender roles things or whatnot. I'm still let a female, you know, be who she really wants to be. But as a man, you have to set the tone. You have to set the vibe. And you have to alleviate certain things when it comes to, like, if you guys are linking up. For example, I'll give you a small example, bro. If you go out downtown... I would suggest whatever place you take a female to, if it's just going to be a vibe, make sure like, you know, you kind of know the spot. Make sure you know, like, OK, this is a good area to sit in. OK, this is a good area to park at. OK, this is a good way to get here instead of you going through all this shit. Fuck that. I'm going to pick you up. Da, 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 X, Y, Z. You make everything. You set the vibe. You set the tone. Now, mind you, you're not doing this just for any female. I repeat, you're not just doing you're not doing this just for any female. OK, if you've been practicing retention, of course, if you know how to control your vices. Number one, it's a lot of it's a lot of women right out there right now. that still like to have fun, still going to have their drinks, still going to have to smoke, smoke their hookah, whatnot. And a lot of times dudes relapse just because of a female's lifestyle. You can vibe with a female who does that and still not partake in those in those things that she's doing. You feel me now? 
some people will say oh that's a setup you need to be equally yoked xyz abc one two three sometimes you may never know bro like your presence alone and your aura alone can actually uh wake up the inner world of a female and she will be she will feel so different about herself and she'll feel some type of way like damn bro maybe i don't really need a drink like that or maybe i don't need to really smoke like that you can show her the natural side because you're you're leading by example you are the life of the party bro you don't need alcohol or weed to like get shit popping you probably might need alcohol or weed to do some low vibrational shit just to and that's the thing about it bro why do like you know if it's just like let's just say spring break or whatever the fuck you feel me whatever holiday that comes up right why do we have to set the vibe by you know having a little alcohol having this having that and it's like why are we not thinking in our right minds like what's wrong with just you know remembering what the fuck we doing especially if we're gonna have fun you know what i'm saying now some people feel that like you know in order to be the life of the party you have to have mind altering substances to make you feel amazing make you feel good and all i'm saying is bro i've been bro this is very contradictory what i'm about to say but i've done this before i'm not telling you guys to do this but i have went to the strip club before sober i'm talking about no weed no alcohol of course it's a two drink minimum so what that what did they have me do they i still had to order a drink nigga i had cranberry juice and orange juice mix that bitch together i told the bartender make it look good make it look pretty and i'm in i'm in the strip now again i haven't been in a strip club in years but i'm saying you don't necessarily have to let what the matrix is telling you to do to influence you to to be that so you can be a part of like the the life of the party i like it better when i can you know when I'm just there all the way mentally. Now, again, I'm not going to no strip club or anything like that. And I wouldn't suggest anybody to do that. But if you do understand energy and if you do have willpower, I tell you, bro, that there's some hidden knowledge, even when people be in a lower nature, dog, don't don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I know a lot of people are like, oh, strip club. Oh, man, you ain't shit. Da, da, da. Nah, nigga, I recognize energy anywhere, bro. And once you could be in a room full of women that are naked, bro, and not even like be stunned by, it, and you know they're beautiful too. And I again, I don't want to paint you a mental picture, but I'm just saying, for me back then, you know, I had a problem anyway, and my problem was, you know, being overly sexually active, and you know, loving bad bitches. You know what I'm saying? That was my fucking problem. Um, but I learned how to still control myself and still view them as not view them more than just like the body itself like okay like yeah you have a beautiful body or not but it's also the energy the mental behind it and there was a lot of females who was body snatched and there was a lot of females who were single moms <laughs> and they had to pay that rent and they was only doing it for about four or five months or whatever that ass serious bro this shit crazy you never bro i knew shit was crazy i knew shit was fucked up and sideways in the matrix once i went to the strip club and some of my classmates were working there young ladies that was quiet never bothered nobody they either became like a bottle girl the door girl or even one of the dancers and i'm like hold on wait we went to school together nigga we went to church together we did like damn that's crazy but life was hey, life was crazy bro you feel me you living in Miami, shit happens, you know? But again, you don't even have to get caught up in that type of lifestyle, though, for real. And I know there's a lot of women who probably had danced before, OnlyFans, and probably was like, you know what? Nah, I can't do this. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. Bills got to get paid. But all I'm saying is this, bruh. To anybody, guys or girls, you don't have to compromise yourself to be the life of the party. You are naturally the life of the party. You are naturally creative. You are naturally smart. You are naturally intelligent. You naturally can vibe in your high vibe. You naturally can vibe in your higher self, be in your higher nature. Like legitimately. You don't need no help. God gave you everything from within. 
a little meditation, a little yoga. You know what I'm saying? Um, and even if you are going to do something that's mind altering, dog, make sure it's just nothing too crazy. Cause like I heard, like mushrooms, they're pretty good too. But you know, it just depends on the person and what you do. But you know, it's all about controlling of the energy overall. I'm not saying if you're a guy, I'm not saying don't, you know, just just forget that you have a, a thing down there and, you know, you just you're just living life like whatever. Like, nah, bro, like you can balance out your energy evenly. You can evenly ba balance out your energy and the party literally will always be following you if you have control, if you have self-control, if you have discernment, you have the right people in your life. You're going to be fine, bro. So with that being said, let's continue the journey, bro. Let's drink our water. Let's stay healthy. Let's work out. You know, I'm about to hit the gym in a little bit. And, um, you know, continue to use your life force energy just to, you know, not only raise your frequency, but raise other people's frequencies as well. And then y'all just have a good time for real, man. Life is hard. You feel me? Life sucks sometimes, too. So you have to learn when it's time to have fun, have some fun. Kick back, chill, get you some sunlight. You know, get you go go into like a yoga class or something, uh, or go into like a good hooping session. This will help keep your spirits up, and you know the party will never end, bro. But uh, MGT, what to do, your boy Moody Star, and I'm back in with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Intro for the outro. If you made it to the end of the video, bro, you the GOAT. Stay locked in, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, bro. Life of the party. It's on you. you. Go anywhere you want, do anything that you want to do. You just got to plan accordingly. Um, and of course, you still got to be realistic with, with your situation. But, uh, you know, the more you go out there, you talk to more people, you talk to more women, um, you know, it's just repetition. Your confidence will grow and people will start to notice your energy. And it's not even really about looks or money or anything like that. But, you know, God's life force energy will shine through you, um, especially if you don't waste it. And, you know, shout out to all the uh, goddesses out there um, that take time to hear a God's perspective as well. You feel me? Y'all keep doing what y'all got to do, uh, you know, and, and, and make sure because I know there's a lot of modern day women. But, you know, to the goddesses out there, that's really, really on their shit, bro. Like y'all are the reason why, like, you know, a lot of us will go hard because, you know, what I'm saying it's cool to kind of share this high vibrational energy with each other with each other when we're on the same frequency so you know what i'm saying it's always dope to experience so yeah man other than that bro if you resonate with this energy leave a super chat drop a bag on the cash app drop a bag on the cash app drop a bag on the cash app or you can hit the paypal and i'm gonna definitely keep giving you guys this content uh it was supposed to be an mgt membership um day yesterday but apparently I was like, you know what? I, I just want to leave that last video that I dropped. Uh, you know, it's called like, she's never out of your league. Um, if you missed it, go watch it. But I kept, I, I basically kept it up for the public. But again, there's going to be more videos like that. And I'll be dropping more videos and stuff. So y'all yeah, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. Uh, also on the Patreon too. If you got any questions, comments, concerns. And if you want uh, like a free consultation, hit the Patreon. I get direct messages from everybody. If you try to hit my Instagram, I'll tell you right now, I don't really be on Instagram like that. I know somebody was supposed to message me, but if you're on Patreon, that's the best way to contact me. Uh, you can get your thoughts off. If you want me to talk about certain videos in the next video, I'll definitely do that. Or, you know, just any comments uh, or concerns. So, we're definitely going to keep this thing going. It's me, Boy Moody Star. I'm definitely see you guys on the next video, bro. Peace.